Today we're going to pop a halter on Lily. She hasn't had one on before, so it'll be the first time. She's six weeks old. She had her first proper trim this morning, of which I just held her while the farrier trimmed her. She's desensitising herself with them. Good girl. Um, and as you can see from the size of her, if she wanted to go, I would have no hope of holding her still. So I'm glad I did the early work with her. If you haven't seen the early work, I'll link it up here. So today I want to halt her on. So we've decided that she's going to need very regular trims on that back hind, the one that was a little bit twisted. I want to give her the best chance. Mum's tied up. I don't usually tie my mares up when I handle their babies, but I don't want her getting in front of the camera. So um, I would like to be able to hold her with a halter and have the farrier do her with ease. So that's the job today. I'm on my own, so I've set the camera up. I'm going to try and do it here, and hopefully we won't go out of view. So the first thing I'd like to tell you to do is get a safe place, okay? I've set this foal and myself up to succeed as much as I can. I've got a small area where um, I'm going to use the fences to actually back her into the corner to try and get this over the uh, front of her face and around her head. If I did it out in the middle, she could back away and run away from me. So I'm trying to set me up for success and also her up to have a successful uh, first haltering. I have got a choice of halters here. They're all webbing halters, which I use on my foals to um, see which one's going to fit her. Now I will put the halter on her. I do not put my foals out with halters on, but there's a caveat to that. Someone here, if you can see Ava behind me, who shall remain nameless, was the most difficult foal to catch on the earth. And so she used to go out with this one. And as you can see, there's a tiny piece of string tying the three bottom bits together so that if it ever got caught on something, it just broke. And it did break a few times. And then I could bring her back in here and catch her. But my place is not set up as good as it could be to corral a foal into a small yard. And I don't try and catch them in the paddock as such because I don't want to set them up to fail or, or them up to get away and learn to go away. It's easier to, t uh, to, it's easier to train a horse and not allow it to learn to do a bad thing if you can possibly do that. So let's see how we go. I'll have to pick which one of these I think is going to fit her. Maybe this one having a drink I'll just wait for her to finish all right young lady okay okay hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. all right so I'm boy, going to set myself up so that I have got the back of this corner if she tries to go backwards to stop her so halter she hasn't seen it um, so I'm just going to rub it on her. There are a couple of ways you can do this. You can actually put it around their neck like this. And I might actually do this way with her. Now she's in this small yard, so if she takes off now, she can't get too much um, of a run up. I find going over their nose is the hardest thing. So I'm just going to sit and rub on her. And because the flies are so bad, that's the other reason I want to halt her. I'd like to walk out in the morning and put her uh put some fly spray on her she's actually going to be pretty whoop, pretty good see now lucky i did that early work otherwise she'd have just been gone then and i wouldn't have had a snowflakes chance of sorry i'm concentrating here when i get this done up on her you can't i'm doing it one-handed i'm not going to pull on it i'm not going to do anything she doesn't understand any of that she's being well well very good. I just want to get that down. Oh, well, she's probably a lot better than I thought she would be. It doesn't fit her properly at the moment. Needs to go up another hole. Good girl. But I just want to get it on her and then I'm going to let her go in a second. And that will be her first little... I'm not holding her here. Oh, well, I sort of am, but there's no strength involved. And that's because of the work I did earlier. I'm just going to let her go. That was pretty good. She's got her first halter on. Sorry, I can't move the camera at the same time. You can see her backing up because she's like, what is that? What is that? What is that? Good girl. So I'm not putting any pressure on that halter. She, she has to get used to the feel of the halter before I do anything with it. Good girl. 
licking a chew starts this young. It truly, truly does. I really hope you can see that. See if I can bring her back in case she is out of view. Come back. Good girl. Pressure and release there too. Good girl. Now, if she goes to go away, I will not grab that halter. It's not set up enough to be safe. Good girl. I am actually just going to try. I hope. I don't think you can see there. Lil, can you come back in? to the camera view so people can see. Good girl, round to go. Round to go, good girl. So very gently, if she went to take off, I'd honest, I'd just drop this. If it fell off, it fell off. Good girl, because I don't want to hurt my foal. Whoop, whoop, yep, yep, she went to back up then. And because I've got the fence behind me, she just bumped it. Good girl, woo. Perhaps she's a little bit worried about me being around her face. That's a good girl. You are going to so love it when I can put fly spray on you, young lady. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, she's shaking her head and getting upset about it. That's okay. We'll deal with that in a bit. First of all, I want to make it safe, which is not too loose, not too tight. I'm being as gentle as I can be. Good girl. I don't... That's all right. Good girl. I just got my hand behind her then. I to stop her going backwards. I am pulling a little bit there because I'm trying to pull that through. My halters haven't been used for five years so they're stiff as a board. There we go. That is it. I'm going to tuck that in and I'm going to call that halted for today and she's just going to wear that for the next 20 minutes. I won't go away in case somehow in here she gets that caught on something. It's probably a little bit high up her nose, but I'm happy that it's not too big on her. Done. Licking a chew. Good girl.